Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, magko-convert tayo ng temperatures. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. When converting temperatures, it is important na yung iba't ibang sitwasyon kailangan ng iba't ibang unit of temperature. Minsan ang kailangan ay Fahrenheit. That's why we need to know the formula in converting Celsius to Fahrenheit. That is, degree Fahrenheit is equal to degree Celsius times 9 over 5 plus 32. Sometimes it's the other way around, Fahrenheit to Celsius. Ito naman po yung formula, degree Celsius is equal to degree Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. Also, we have a third unit of measurement, which is Kelvin. And this is the formula for converting degree Celsius to Kelvin. We have degree Celsius plus 273.15. Most of the time, Fahrenheit measurements are used in uh, cooking or in baking. There are many recipes na nagsasabi na dapat ganito yung temperature ng boiling water o kaya ganito yung temperature ng oven or ganito yung temperature ng meat para masabing luto na siya. Yung Celsius naman, kadalasan ginagamit yan in everyday life. Temperature ng iyong katawan, lalo na kung may sakit. Temperature sa loob ng bahay or sa labas ng bahay. At itong Kelvin, kadalasan ito ay para sa mga scientific experiments dahil ito ay palaging absolute temperature. Let's talk about different examples of converting temperature. Let's start with the first one. In our first example, Jillian roasts a chicken in her oven and according to the recipe, the oven should be preheated at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. However, her thermometer only shows temperature in degrees Celsius. So what should be her target temperature in Celsius? In other words, we have to convert 380 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let's use the formula degree Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9. Just substitute 380 dito sa degree Fahrenheit. 380 minus 32 is 348 and multiply it to 5. After getting the answer, you divide it by 9. Round it off to the second decimal number or to the nearest hundreds. Therefore, we can say that Jillian needs to preheat the oven at 193.33 degrees Celsius. It's pretty straightforward as long as you know the degree Fahrenheit na given and you remember the formula clearly at na-apply mo ng tama yung pagko-compute. Now, let's move to the second example. For the second example, Kyle listens to weather reports while he is traveling in the U.S. And according to the report, it is predicted that the heat index will be 28 degrees Celsius. So in order to prepare his outfit, he has to know how hot is this in degree Fahrenheit. So in other words, 28 degrees Celsius should be converted to degree Fahrenheit. Just like what we did sa first example, this is pretty straightforward. You recall the formula correctly and then substitute the given 28 degrees Celsius. This time we work uh, with the parentheses first. So 28 times 9 and then afterwards divide it by 5. The answer is 50.4. And then once you already know the answer to that, just add 32 and then that is 82.40. By rule of thumb, the temperature should always be rounded off to two decimal places. Again, there should be two decimal places. So if ever your answer is like this, na may 0.4 lang, just have to add 0 sa dulo. So that's 82.40. Let's write down the conclusion. So therefore, Kyle will experience a heat index of 82.40 degree Fahrenheit today. And finally, for example number three, Katie and her team is in the laboratory to record the boiling point of various chemical solutions. During the first trial, they recorded the temperature to be at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Help them report the results in Kelvin. Since we don't have any direct conversion from Fahrenheit going to Kelvin, first, we need to convert the degree Fahrenheit into Celsius. 
Kumbaga, there will be two parts of uh, solution. For example, number three. Gawin muna natin tong una. We have 212 minus 32. That will result to 180. Again, work uh, within the parenthesis muna. 180 times 5. And then whatever the answer there, you divide it by 9. So finally, there should be 100 degrees Celsius uh, as the temperature in degrees Celsius. We will not end with this because what we need is the result in Kelvin. Now we already know the degree Celsius. We can just use the formula to convert it to Kelvin, which is degree Celsius plus 273.15. You just substitute 100 so degree Celsius and then add it to 273.15. The answer is 373.15. Therefore, the result of the first experiment was 373.15 Kelvin. Take note, when writing Kelvin, no need to put the degree. Just write letter K for the Kelvin. Only Fahrenheit and Celsius requires a small circle or degree before the letter. There are other situations that requires converting temperatures from one unit to another. Uh, these are just three of them. As long as you know the correct formula and the correct way of using them, I am sure that you can solve those problems in no time.